I graduated dental school here in 79. My father was a dentist, his, was an orthodontist. He loved it, and that was infectious. He passed away last year, and I thought long and hard about how I could essentially allow his name to be synonymous with the program. Graduated from the School of Dentistry in 1958. We had a lot of fun in dental school. Some of the things I can't tell you about, but <laughs> some, of, some of course we can. My wife and I decided a scholarship would be a wonderful way to give back to the university for all that the university had done for us. I got the Dental Hygiene Endowed Scholarship when I was a senior here, and I am a dental hygiene faculty. I am a current fourth year. I'm a fourth year dental student. I'm a fourth year dental student at the Austria School of Dentistry at USC. I was an undergraduate at UCLA. No, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I come from a single parent, low-income household. So for me, it's very significant. We were all told that dental education is expensive, but you have no idea of what that means until you're actually in it. And you start to see the day-to-day -day costs. And you, know, you need this piece of equipment, you have to buy it yourself. You need this you know, rotor instrument, you have to get it yourself. I dream about teeth every single night. I heard that dreaming about teeth has a lot to do with money, so I'm not sure if that's the student debt that I have or the future potential income. Uh, dental school is not cheap. It can be a very daunting experience. <laughs> to be able to actually get that kind of um, financial aid and support and, and scholarships and grants and things like that, that's the only way I was able to actually make it through probably the most educated person and individual in my family now. That's mainly because of being in this community, in this school. Coming here and getting my dental hygiene degree was probably the best decision I've ever made for my career and for my soul. We're gonna leave the room. Yes, <laughs> and I'll tell you what I really think. Okay, this is interesting. So this is my confessional. I don't know why I'm whispering now. So what do you do when everyone leaves the room? I don't know. <laughs> um. I'm here all alone in front of the camera. Um, I would like to say uh, a huge thank you. I want to thank all the donors. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting our students and thank you for just being a part of this wonderful school and being a part of the history of the school. It really meant a lot to me. It relieved a lot of the stress that I knew that was coming. One scholarship here there can make the difference. It allows me to think about my studies and focus on my studies besides thinking about, oh, how am I going to pay my next month's rent? It just signifies that they actually did something right. The success that I've enjoyed for 35 years is attributed to this department. I just wanted to give something back. My purpose in life was going to be to try to help other people, and I enjoy it immensely. Community, family, the Trojan family, it's an excellent thing. I love you all. Thank you. Okay, I'm done. <laughs>